Hi, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be covering two key concepts. One is how to create a Berlin school style delay for your sequences. And the second is we're going to review a new mode for the Swiss Daisy DSP, which contains both a reverb and a delay. So let's get started. First of all, what we've got here is a voice from the 2600. We're taking the voltage controlled amplifier out and putting it into the input of the delay, which is the right side of this Swiss Daisy DSP in this mode. And the output of that goes into the input of the reverb, which is the left side. And the output of the reverb goes into this malt and back into the VCA. And that's what you're hearing is the direct output from here. So the first thing we want to do is look at the new mode for the Swiss Daisy DSP. And let's talk about the controls for the reverb side of this setup. And the, those controls are the size of the reverb, the low pass filter for damping the reflections of the reverb. We've got the mix control, which is basically wet dry. And finally, we've got a high pass filter. On the delay side, we've got delay time, feedback, mix control, wet dry, and this control is unrelated to the delay. It is a single control for the ADSR envelope, which controls the decay and the release, and we're not using it all here. The sustain uh, is virtually zero and the attack is immediate, uh, the fastest attack. So that covers the controls. Let's take a look at how they work, but first let's do this. Let's review how we get to a Berlin School style delay. And the key thing is the delay time, and it relates to the tempo of the sequence. And in this case, we've got a quarter note sequence. And what we want to do is set this delay time to be equal to a dotted eighth note. And I'm going to show you how to do that by ear if you don't have a synced delay. So let's turn the de delay very short. And the first thing we want to get to is the Giorgio Moroder style eighth note delay. As you increase the delay time, and they go back into sync more or less, you get to your quarter note delay. If you continue, until it doubles again. You get your dotted eighth note delay. And that's your typical Berlin School style delay. Let's take the delay out and focus on the reverb. Damping on the reverb. Let's get it full wet. 
you're just closing a low pass filter on the reflections as they feed back into the reverb. And the higher you get that cutoff frequency, the brighter it gets. This is the high pass filter, and that's with the high pass filter virtually off. It gets pretty muddy, particularly if you've got damping on. So let's bring up this high pass filter frequency. And somewhere around noon on this knob, it starts to thin out. If you want a really thin, ethereal reverb, you could go to one o'clock or higher. And that's off, so let's bring back in the delay. We're also modulating this size parameter with a low frequency triangle wave. You can hear it better when we get to a larger size. And that's the demo. Uh, Swiss Daisy DSP here is in the 5U uh, MoogUnit.com format. It's also available in Eurorack format. Um, and that's the video. If you like it, please click like. If you'd like to hear more content like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.